Hi everybody, welcome to This World Travel, my name is Joe and on this channel I aim to inspire, inform and amuse I create video content about travel and stuff happening around London and in this video I'm checking out the William Blake Exhibition at Tate Britain right here. It's only on until February 2020. So this little video is going to give you a bit of an overview, what to expect to see, costs and basically how to make the most of your trip here. The Tate Britain, not to be confused with the Tate Modern, is located in Millbank by the Thames. The nearest tube is Pimlico but also it's a short walk from Victoria train station. And if you want to get really fancy you can also catch a ferry to the Millbank Millennium Pier. The Tate Britain is opened every day from 10am to 6pm. A few details about William Blake. He was born in the 1700s and he picked up his artistic flair from a really really young age. From 10 years old he pretty much grew up to be a lifelong artist. And by the time he reaches adulthood, his contemporaries thought he was a little bit crazy. Very, very different from everybody else. But that's what made him quite unique. Which leads me on to why I really want to check out his works. What I love about his work is that it's got this eerie, surreal, kind of like a fantastical way about it. This exhibition is going to be quite special because rarely he's, there's going to be so much of his work all come together in one place. I think there's like over a couple of hundred pieces of work and they're usually separated into separate museums, exhibitions all around and pretty much packed away because his works are quite delicate and I also have an Arts Funds card so it gives me a small discount. If you don't know about the Arts Funds card you should definitely check it out, link is in the description and it gives you free entry to art museums, exhibition, discounts to exhibitions and it's just a really good car to have, really good value for money if you visit a few places in a year. Plus you're supporting art which is always a good thing. Anyway enough chit chat, let's go check out that place, the Tate Britain. Some of the more famous creations from William Blake is his illuminated books. A mix of illustrations and text, he was heavily influenced by medieval books. Right, so I'm just about halfway through the exhibition and it's really, really quite good. There's five rooms in total and the way it's organised is that it starts from the beginning and to the end of his life, so it's in a chronological order and you can see how his art changes over time. There's so many pieces of his art here, it's fantastic. Like, I'm really loving his style and I didn't, I'm learning a few things from the actual uh, audio guide. And throughout the exhibition you start to understand key moments in his life. It was also really insightful into the social political climate of his time. I got a real sense of how he saw the world. With his very dark and moody star, I think he would have been a great comic book artist. His illustrations has a uniquely unsettling style. Put it this way, you wouldn't see Mr Blake painting delicate florals and calming landscapes. And I probably wouldn't recommend buying your granny prints from him. Right, and that is the end of my William Blake exhibition visit. It's been absolutely amazing. I learned so many things about Mr. Blake. He's an exceptional character. I mean, he really, really struggled with his first, uh, well, his first exhibition and he basically retreated from public view. Which is a real shame because the guy was so talented. Clearly he had a real sense of integrity, was an absolute rebel. Set aside at least one hour. 
uh, to do the tour. I spent just over two hours. It's coming up to six o'clock now. They're about to kick everybody out, including myself. I definitely have a great appreciation of William Blake. He is amazing, like his history, what he managed to create. And it's a real shame that he never completed all of his art. Um, in his last 10 years, he's created some of the most, his famous works. You should definitely come and check this place out. Um, it's going until the 4th of February, so that last week before then will be absolutely crazy busy. I reckon everybody will be seeing, it, seeing um, this exhibition. So come as early as you can in January. And if you've seen this after um, the exhibition closes, you should check out some of the different William Blake uh, places around London and hopefully they can show some of the pictures. I really hope you like that video. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think about Mr. Blake. He is an awesome character. This video was just a quick test of my S10 as well. So it wasn't really supposed to be a full video, but I thought I'd make it into a full video. Really hope you like it. Let me know in the comments which part of the William Blake little guide was useful to you. Which is your... Sure, thank you. I'm just closing my video. I've been told to go apparently. So yeah, make sure you check out this exhibition before it closes. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to see future videos. I'll see you later. Welcome to this one. Class. Motor cars. Really? Hi everybody, welcome to Diswap Travel, my name's Joe.